Jordan, what's good? Oh, not too much, mate. It's uh, it's very late here in Melbourne, nearly twelve. Hey, uh, I sent I sent you a link ages ago. We never got to meet up in in Melbourne due to some bad weather. But um, I'm wondering if you ever watched that bold and bankrupt video on uh, Babrusk, your hometown. I don't I don't know. Can you can you make sure Dustin gets the URL so I definitely see it this weekend? Yeah, yeah. We'll, Thank we'll you send so much through, for sure. Um, so my question for you: It's been very interesting here in Australia due to COVID. Obviously, um, our government has basically given a few businesses and we've been one of those that is quite lucky that essentially we've been giving a, a cash flow boost of the equivalent of a month's worth of sales. Stimulus so check. Pardon? A stimulus check. Essentially. Essentially. Yeah. Um, and look, I think the, the thing that I find most interesting about you is that it's not just your ability to understand attention, but to allocate capital. I mean, you've built this vertical company, you've got media assets, creative, uh, the media side of the business as well, production. I guess I'm curious from your side, for you as a younger entrepreneur, when you first started Vayner, in Vayner Media, what were the smartest investments? Was it in people or was it uh, you just, you, uh, Jordan, you literally took the words out of my mouth. It was in David Zhang. It was in Marcus Krasastic. It was in Joe Whitmarsh, Phil Toronto. It was in humans, Matt Sidemer. It was It was humans. You know, Kelly mm. McCarthy and Tina C and it was the, it, <clears throat> there's just nothing close to the humans. It was the humans. Yeah. And what, now that, but you have to understand that's because I like managing people and I like people. So the mm. answer to, you know, the answer is not for everybody. Some people are quite introverted and awkward and don't enjoy the process of humans. And for them, the answer would have been technology. Mm. You know, for a lot of different companies, the answer was we hired four engineers, we barely talked to each other remotely, we built this awesome product and that started it. For me, my great strength is the enjoyment of people, the understanding of people, the compassion for people. Even when people are mean and angry and judgmental of me, even then I don't get triggered. And I have you know, a, a beautiful, I'm so grateful for my, I mean, I'm just so, I mean, I kiss my parents on the face mm. for this. I, my, you know, my, I kiss my immigrant circumstances in the face for this. Um, my genuine, genuine love for people. I mean, right now we're going through a time in the world where, you know, in the US and, and many other places, enormous fractions, me versus you, you versus them. And, and to me, my great strength is finding that common ground of, of compassion, empathy, genuinely caring about your fellow man and, and trying to act on it. And um, which is always very, very challenging through a business world because you have business realities as well. But for me, it was people, so yes. Mm -hmm. And so we're, we're in this early stage now, obviously running an agency, we've got probably five or six staff. And I guess I was curious, I, I, I tried to jump back three, four years ago to some of your videos around your first hires. Who were the smartest? Family and friends. Friend? Family and really? friends. Mm -hmm. I'm a big family and friends guy. Why? Because it's different. If you, because it, it's, it, it's stickier. Do you, you think know, it's a trust thing? Yeah, of course. Even if they're I, even if they're not experienced. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Of course, it's family. Because mm. we're we're having that right now. We're we're hiring for different roles that we haven't hired for in the past, and I I like. Are the you? You know, there was. Let me jump in. I apologize. Yeah. Do you, one of the things that I had was I knew the role. Yeah. When I was hiring these kids, my brother's friends from college is the answer, <laughs> and high school. Um or hardcore fans of Wine Library TV that I knew for five or six years online. When I was hiring for them, the big key was I knew how to do all those jobs. Thus, yeah. I could judge if they were progressing. If you don't know the jobs, you're more of a pickle in that scenario. Yeah, well, I mean, I've been doing pretty much everything strategy, sales and marketing for, for about three years, two years, maybe three years. And my co-founder does all creative production and um, I don't have an industry background. So it's been very interesting. Me neither. Um, it, yeah, well, you don't have to have the experience. You just have to know them. Yeah. Well, the hardest thing is, is like you said, is I was deliberating and speaking to a, another owner of probably the biggest independent agency here. And he was like, you really need to be particular about the role it is that you're hiring because people are just not, they're not you. They're not going to have the same same passion and be able to do all the things. And they shouldn't. And they shouldn't. Yeah. 
and owners and bosses and CEOs should not hold their employees accountable to that same level of passion exactly. hours because they're not being compensated the same way. Mm. He, he, he believes that um, the greatest, well, the first hire that he should always go to if he, if he was to pick account manager, strategist, then creative, the first should always be account manager because they'll pay for the, the other two. From, I, I understand that, and I, I see a lot of validity <laughs> that. I think the first hire is the single person that reverse engineers the founder, CEO, leader. So for me, that was an admin. Yeah. Do, you right. know, because, because that was my weakest length of like not wanting to do that kind of work. So yeah. I think you hire a rep. And by the way, if you know, I don't know who, what that gentleman did for a living, if he was a creative or what have you, but if you yourself are an account person, potentially the first hire that matters is a creative. Yeah. Well, I thought the, it, the, the wisest decision was a strategist because I don't, you know, I'm not a marketer per se, and I come from that account management sales background. But um, a salesperson that, matters. I've seen, I've seen shops that start with five people that can do something, but not one of them can sell a fucking ice cream in a desert and they go out of business. I think it's, I think these are all self-awareness games for all of us out here. Yeah. Do you, do you, if you think back to that time in those first days, how long until you realistically realize that you could stop working in that real nitty gritty of day to day where you're just constantly involved in. I'm still in and out. Account management. Yeah. But like, you, you know what I mean? When you're, you're literally, the account manager, the salesperson, the marketer. As soon as, as soon as, as soon as you can afford it. Yeah. You know, that was about two years for us. Yeah. It's exciting though. It's yeah, exciting. It's, time. There's nothing more fun than building. Yeah. Jordan, thank you so much, brother. I wish you well. Thank Make you. sure I check out that video. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.